Have you ever wondered where the best federal prison to serve your time is? I know that there are a lot of articles out there from, from people who've never been into federal prison and talk about what's the best place to serve time. And I know that some other people present this type of information, but they don't really have a very broad depth of experience. That's why I encourage you to contact my partner, Justin Paperni. He has access to the best information out there about as many prisons as possible, not only from the thousands of people that he has advised who are currently in prison, but also because he has access to partners like Sean Hopwood and myself. I was in prison for 26 calendar years and in prisons of every security level. And I can absolutely tell you that there is a little secret about doing time in federal prison, and it is it's not the prison that matters, right? You kind of heard the same message from a world-class cycler, Lance Armstrong, when people used to advise him, what's the best bike to get? What are the best shoes to get? What are the best clothing to wear when I'm gonna win, become a best-in-class cyclist? What did Lance say? It's not the bike. Same thing, it's not the prison. I started out in high security federal prisons and I was in two separate high security federal prisons. I was inside the United States Penitentiary in Atlanta for I think the first seven years of my 26 years in prison. Then I was in the United States Penitentiary at Lewisburg for a little while before I transferred to medium security prisons. And the first one was the Federal Correctional Institution in McKean. Then I went to the Federal Correctional Institution, another medium security prison in Fairton, New Jersey. From Fairton, New Jersey, I went to a low security prison in Fort Dix, New Jersey, where I was for about eight years. And then I started my journey into minimum security camps, where I served the final decade of my sentence. I think the first one, well, I don't think, I remember the first one was the federal prison in Florence, Colorado, federal prison camp in Florence, Colorado. Then I went to a federal prison camp in Lompoc, California. Then a federal prison camp in Taft, California federal prison camp in Atwater, California. Then I was released to the halfway house in San Francisco. Then I was on home confinement. And that during that 26 year journey, I was also in about, I don't know, 20 different uh, local jails and so on as you're going through transfer. Also significant number of times at the federal transfer center in Oklahoma, in Oklahoma. So, I mean, I just have an extraordinary background of what is in federal prison, but I got a news for you. It didn't matter which prison I was in, as long as I was on a disciplined, deliberate path, always focused on what's going to be the best possible outcome. So I know that you interact with my partner, Justin Paperni, and if you haven't spoken with him, you gotta reach out to him. It's a free consultation, and he will tell you how he can help you understand what is the best prison for you. But it's a lot more than about the best prison. There's a lot of, of mumbo jumbo out there about the best prison. I mean, there's one ridiculous article that talks about, you know, you're able to mow the lawn for the warden and eat and have lemonade with the warden's wife at her house if you're at Maxwell Air Force Base. I mean, that is just total, utter nonsense. Okay, you've got to recognize that prison is what an individual makes of it. But there are not going to be these types of camp cupcakes where you're gonna go sit down and have lemonade and, and tea with the warden's wife at the camp at Maxwell Air Force Base. Anybody who would say that definitely has no experience in prison or they're getting misleading information from people inside who are painting this ridiculous picture about what prison is like. I can tell you, that it didn't matter which prison I was in, I always was on a disciplined, deliberate path to prepare for success. And when you're on that path, that's when you can tune out the external noise and influences that complicates life for so many people who serve time in prison. Our objective is to position people for success regardless of what the Bureau of Prisons does, regardless of what the judge does, regardless of what the probation officer recommends, regardless of what the U.S. Attorney recommends, you can put yourself on a pathway to success. But the real, the real value, the real knowledge that you have to develop is mindset. You have to learn how to reject all the ridiculous and absurd advice from the so-called experts who may have served a few months or a few years in one institution, but don't really have the backing to show what does it mean to come back successfully. That's what my partner Justin Paperni shows you, and he is a master of coming back successfully. He now leads a multi-million dollar consulting business, but more importantly, he helps 
thousands of people who reach out to him. Thousands of law firms that, that, need, that, that interact with people who are going into the criminal justice system really need more insight about what does it really mean to position yourself for the best possible outcome inside. That's what Justin can tell you, and I know that he can do so because he was one of, one of my first students that came out and built a business using these strategies. I am not in the personal consulting business. I have work in the corporate sector and in real estate. I've asked one of my clients to lend me their boardroom so that I could just film a couple of videos for Justin because I have so much admiration and respect for him for what he is doing. He helps people understand how to get the best possible outcome. And that doesn't necessarily mean, oh, where's the best prison? I mean, sure, there are some prisons that have some advantages and other prisons that have other advantages. Some prisons have some disadvantages. But if you're outside watching this video, you have got the ability to start influencing things ahead. And every decision you make is going to have uh, ancillary consequences, okay? You've got to begin asking yourself the right questions. What is the best possible outcome for me? Is it necessarily to qualify for the residential drug abuse program? Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I can't answer that question for you without knowing anything about your background. Is it to get to, into a minimum security camp? Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I don't know your financial circumstances or what type of career aspirations you have for your future. Is it to get closer to home? Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I can tell you that there are so many variables that come with a question about where's the best place to serve time that asking that question is saying, well, what's the best thing to do if I'm going to go on vacation in France? I mean, I mean, I don't know unless I know more about how you define success. That's what my friend Justin is, is such an expert in doing, is eliciting from you how you are going to define success, how you are going to define the best possible outcome. When we understand, or our team understands that, understands what, how you define success, that's when he can provide you the really expert, one-on-one -on -one advice and guidance that you can take into your calculus and start determining, okay, it doesn't really matter which prison I am in, regardless of where I am, I am still going to be separated from the people that I love, and I'm going to be separated from the people who love me. The question is, how can I use that time to come back strong, with my dignity intact, with a career waiting for me? How can I come back and create business opportunities and relationships with people who will not judge me for the bad decisions I made that put me in here? And that is a statement that is uh, irrespective of whether you're guilty or not guilty. The fact is you have been targeted for a criminal prosecution if you're using our work. And at the end of the day, whether you're guilty or not guilty, you've got to recognize that some decisions that I made, whether it's putting myself in a relationship with certain people or going into a business that is more highly scrutinized, all of these, or, or rather you, maybe you didn't have the, the lobbying behind you or the financial resources behind you, all of this is a reflection of decisions that you have made in the past. The question you have to ask now is what can I do with the situation that I am in to begin sowing seeds for the best possible outcome. And just as Lance Armstrong recommended to people, it's not the bike, I can tell you it's not the prison. It is your mindset. It is what are you going to do today to begin sowing seeds for a better outcome. And I can absolutely say there is nobody that I would recommend, there is nobody that I would endorse more highly to prepare you for that journey than my partner, Justin Paperni. I really encourage you, contact him today. If you're watching, listening to this on iTunes rather than watching it on a video, um, his phone number is 818-424-2220. My name is Michael Santos, and I never ask anybody to do anything that I didn't do and that I am not doing today. And because I know that Justin operates by that same philosophy, he is authentic, honest, transparent, and I know that he is giving you best-in-class guidance and advice, and that's why I recommend it. Reach out to my partner, Justin Paperni, 
and disregard a lot of the noise that's out there from so many people. I mean, listen to the way that they talk. Look at some of their presentations and uh, question yourself, is this really the best guide for you? I can assure you that Justin, has, Justin is. I'm 100% authentic, and I encourage you, reach out to my partner, Justin McPerney at Prison Professors, and you will be, do, those will be the first steps that you can take to put yourself on the best possible outcome. And if you want my free book, make sure you get a free copy of Prison to Paradise by visiting prisontoparadise.com. Will you be cool and know that you are taking first steps toward the best possible outcome for you?